what's going on everybody um, I'm back today with a new video kind of scary thing that I'm gonna try out uh, it's gonna be the one hour loop from I'll just pick random monsters in our runescape kill them for an hour and kind of give you guys a good idea of what you can expect from loots and it'll give you some more money-making ideas I hope because a lot of you guys are asking me how I make my money and to be honest I don't know <laughs> pretty much it's from Slayer I mean I'm 18.2 I guess now but uh, a lot of these monsters I kill do require a Slayer level and today I'm going to actually start off with one of them that requires level 92 which would be the Eryx. Um, we'll be killing an hour's worth of those and I will be able to tell you roughly what you can expect from an hour's worth of Eryx. Um, obviously it's not going to be 100% correctly when you go 100% correct when you go do it but it'll give you a rough idea as to what you can expect. Um, for everybody wondering what you actually should bring I suggest power gear. Uh, Bandos works perfectly fine. If you can't afford bandos and you have ports done, bring your tetsu. If you don't have tetsu, I guess you could bring barrows if you really needed, uh, needed it. It has some decent defense bonuses, but there's going to be no offensive bonuses. Uh, for your weapon, you'd want to bring dragors. If you can't bring dragors, chaotics are fine. I wouldn't really suggest anything less than chaotics, but if you really have to, I, a god sword would be suffice, but it's not going to be your best, best method. Uh, for your ring, you can do the six eight circuit that's great if you can't bring a wealth works or your uh, zerker ring um cape wise same thing if you have a skill cape or a skill cape max cape comp obviously those are all going to be better uh, since i'm lasting an hour i brought three overloads i should have brought flask but i don't have any more flask right now to decant into but that's fine i'm also bringing my pack yak so i can bank the bones since those are worth about 9k each at the time of this video so uh, expect to make a lot of money off of the bones that will be the majority of your profit um, to get there you can use the fairy ring akq or i like to use the phoenix layer teleport i'll get rid of those for there and it teleports you you will see right over here by the phoenix layer and we are right here at the eryx well, what's going on i'm a semo um yes so once you're here all you have to do is pot up put your prayers on i use turmoil and soul split just because that would be going to be your best prayers to be able to use there. Some people pray range, I believe, but that's not going to be your best idea. If you have Soul Split, you definitely want to use it. And with the Dragos and Bandos, you do take them down fairly quickly. So right now, you, you really should be using Bandos and Dragos. But, um, yep, and I'll be back after about roughly an hour of killing them. I'll check in if I get any cool drops. So we'll see you guys in an hour going on guys I uh, just wanted to come back real quick and say I got a serenic scale after about what am I uh, what was that overload and a quarter in first serenic scale I don't know how much that sells for probably not gonna sell for too much but that's a nice little nice little noticeable drop and I'll be back if I get anything else all right guys I am actually nearing the end of the trip not quite yet but I have just received an interesting drop which I did not believe was on the drop table see what we get we have a thousand eighty one so that's not that much but it's still once again an interesting drop to see uh, since it's not actually on their drop table and I'll be back within oh geez about four minutes and we'll be able to finish up the video all right so I am done with the trip of one hour at the Eric's uh, oops one second I will be right back with that Okay, now we're back. Uh, sorry about that. I did actually DC once during the trip, which is why we actually had the dice in the bank thing. But we have done one hour, and we have killed 112 Eryx. Uh, so that would be 112 bones. Take those. We have 7 rune spheres, 24 addy bars, a loop half, a tooth half, 12 dwarf reeds, 24 Eryx, 4 of dimes, a pure essence drop, which is from the rare drop table, a rune ore, one ceramic scale, and the rune plate legs, we have nine and eight plate bodies. And we will get a rough, I'll get a price check on it right now, and then we will be able to sell it in GE, see what we actually get. So this will be from one hour, just a rough price check to see, and then we will run over to GE and see exactly what's going to be, because I know this is a lot less. These are probably elk value, so roughly three and a half mil, that is, I'm going to predict that's going to be about 2.8 ish right around there and I'll be right back when I sell everything all right so and also like I said these are probably on the 
down. These are elkable. You can elk those for more than probably what they're going to sell in G or just to be perfectly I'm going to sell in G though. These elk for 12 and a half K each, they're room steers. So you could actually uh, make profit. You used to be able to buy them for about 9,000 and uh, you could elk them for about 12 K for, you know, about a 3 K profit per spare. These are going to sell. That's good. These will probably be about 400, I hope. I know I could bet 400k, but I always cut the zeros. Hope that sells. That sells. And like I said, these you could sell. I mean, elk for probably more money than you can sell them for. But for just for this video, the footage just kind of dumped them into the GE. Same. Oh, the Roomba actually is elk for much. That elk's like 3k. Those are really cheap. So that's not going to be much. And then we'll take these back real quick. I emptied my money pouch so we can see this is 490. For the scale, that's not bad. That scale icon's messed up. Uh, I empty my money pouch so we can see exactly what we're going to get. Uh, we had 3.4. I said roughly we'll probably get about 2.8 to see what we end up with. So on these, the herbs actually have gone up a little bit. Lamp dimes are worth a good amount, so those are definitely worth picking up. The two halves have came down a little bit, but all in all, they're not bad. 40k, 20k, they all add up once you get them. Dwarf leaves up a little bit. There we go, over 10k. Pick up these. Come on. And sell our Addy bars. I didn't get many Addy bars. Normally we get more, but for some reason I only had a few drops of those. It really wasn't too much, but it uh, it all adds up in the end. And look, that was pretty close. Look at that, two point seven plus, give or take, actually about a hundred to one hundred fifty k for money that was in the money pouch that you collect because they do drop um three k to like ten k or, or something like that, I believe. Um, so roughly I was actually pretty close, two point eight mil. Then you subtract out your cost for supplies and whatnot, and you're probably looking at about 2.5 on average uh, mil per hour, which is what I was expecting with Vandals and Dragos. So that's really not too bad, even though considering you do need a level 92 Slayer requirement. But all in all, not a bad money-making method, 2.5 mil an hour, and that was with no Razorback. So if you got Razorback and more Surf Scales, that will obviously go up a lot. Surf Scales being between four and 500k, you can obviously make a lot more money off of those. Um, the overloads and the grant, the overloads all depends on when you made them. I made mine a while back, so I don't really count them as being like cheap. They're like 50k to me. The tray flash, obviously, not too much either, but still, I don't know, it's give or take, you know, another 100, 200k roughly. And so, yeah, you're about 2.5, 2.6 mil an hour at the Eric's with this gear. Um, Dude, if you guys like these videos, definitely give it a like. I will probably be doing more of these different types of creatures in the in the uh, near future. And as always, check it out on check us out on Twitch. I'm always over there. We're always doing live streams and masses at night. Uh, normally start around five to six p.m. Eastern for anybody interested. Last night we actually got a divine. I have that for everybody that was wondering. We did load that back up onto the Twitch channel. I finally figured out how to um, highlight it. So that's now on the channel if you want to take a look at that. That was quite interesting. That was a 0.8 mil foot. Yes, it was. Uh, for me, anyways, some people got less. Divine touch. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want more. See you guys later.